my channel where we look at news, reviews and rides going on in the PV community. On this special episode we're looking at a board from BioBoard. So let's check it out. And here we go. So here it is, the bio boards, but what model? So this has been sent to me uh, for review purposes. I am super, super grateful for the team at bio boards for sending me this over. Now this is a review copy. Uh, what I asked them to do, what, what, what do they want me to focus on? What do you mean to look on? And they said, just have an honest, open review. What can you say from a company just saying to look, just be open and honest and say to us, what do you do like about the board? So this has been sent over to me. I have no idea how this is gonna be running. I don't know if it's a two wheel drive, don't know if it's four wheel drive, don't know if it's street or AT or both. So buyer boards are really lacking in the UK. I don't see too many of them. I think most because the price point of what they are, they're like the cutting edge, the highest level of torque and acceleration in the scene at the moment. Potentially with a four wheel drive set up with that maximum amount of acceleration. And these things are built for racing and speed. So these are literally like the rockets of the e-skate e scene. And so I'll be stunned to see what performance we're gonna get out of this. And I highly doubt I'll get anywhere close to maxing out this beast. So let's open it up. Nothing's more exciting than opening up a brand new board. I tell you, nothing. Absolutely a joy every single time. I think that's got it. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. Bubble wrap. Always loving the bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Now this one is a demo version. That is packing cubes. I need to make sure I get this right. I'm move, opening this up. More packing. Look at that in a second. I think I know what that is. Jeez. As always, we're gonna look at the accessories first. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I was gonna move the box, let's get out some accessories and sit down and have a look at this board in more detail. First impressions. I've never seen anything like this before, ever. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so first of all, we'll have a look inside. I'm guessing this is the charging pack. And what size charger you get inside the box or options that are out there. Seems to find these are like the standardized uh, size of these kind of higher end boards nowadays like 12S plus 12, 14S configuration. Oh, we're up to the max. Right, okay. So this is the charge. Let's move this bulb back the way. So this is the charger. Now this looks very similar to my Apex Custom charger. This is a 10 amp charger at 50 volts. So it's also got a nice little display on it as well. So it actually will tell you the correct volts you're right, you using for your board at the time. So that's a nice little feature. It's using the same kind of kettle prong you'd use for um, say the LaCroix 
or like I say the uh, tram bar. So that's really nice. Also got an interesting connection which I like actually here. Yeah. I'm guessing it's a twist top. So you've got two uh, prong holes but it's a twist top. So that is going to come off and that's a really nice little clip. One thing just before I go into the remote they've given me as well is some information about battery safety and instructions. So make sure your charger is set to the, the correct voltage uh, before you're plugging it into any socket obviously because in Europe and the States and all over the world we have different uh, ampage and volts um, over the different areas. So make sure that you read that carefully and make sure that you set your voltage to the right um, settings for where your region is so make sure you read this um, before plugging this into your board uh what else is on there as well also shows you about the devega which is on the board as well also the smart bms so a couple of specs it says here your board is made from a 72 72 Samsung 40Q cells. They are built in a 2 times 12 s 3P configuration. That's so that's 12 s 6P configuration, but two stacks of 12 s 3P. Also shows the battery information on your um, charger, which is nice, and also warranty and making sure you. Do not leave your board at charge when you are not home, so making sure that you keep it safe at all times. Anyway, that's the information. Now the remote. So the remote, before I fucking launch it off, the remote is the Hoyt Puck. Uh, same as what the, all the higher end boards are using nowadays, mostly because of the safety and security. Now this remote is extremely good at keeping a good signal on your board. I've been using it on the Prototipo and other boards. Originally, I don't like the kind of your little finger being underneath so because you sometimes get fatigued however there are options of uh, different cases you can have for example the puck puck bruce so you can change that for a third party one also bioboards are also developing their own remote at the moment as well so that shouldn't be too much longer or you can order your board with a vx1 remote now personally i absolutely loved my vx1 remote it's what i have on my tramper and it's what i've had on other boards as well but the vx1 is a really good remote however it's safety and security is your thing you the number one in a white puck has the best connection and has the safest connection right let's have a look at what we're here what we're here for the bio board let's have a look now Okay, so here it is. This is the BioBoards Plutonium, and it is bat crazy. Holy hell! Look at the state of this thing. One thing I've I noticed straight away is it's got a narrow deck at the back, and it extends wider at the front. So a couple of the key features to mention straight out of the box: you have the Devega at the front for all the information of the board. Now that's a really nice small feature. I think it's a really important thing for your board because you can see your speed, how much charge is left on your board and any other additional information that you need as you're riding. The tires are eight inch MBS tires with like an off-road tread to them, which is interesting because is this gonna be more for an off-road build or is this mostly for the terrain? Most pe people say four wheel drive is designed for um, off-road build, but this is just absolute crazy rocket speed. A couple of things I like straight out of the way is I'm loving these screws, this green kind of like, I don't know, Kryptonian color all over it. Do you know be really nice if you could have that in the center as well, having the green really, really pop on the board. The grip tape is almost like vicious grip tape, so it's quite rough under the hand. But let's talk a bit more about the specs. So we have 6389 uh, 140kV motors on all four wheels. Yes, all four wheels have 
6389 140kV motors which are on a 3D services um, hanger and a 3D services gear drive. So that's a gear drive and every single wheel. So that means instant torque, instant speed, instant acceleration straight away. You've got 12S3P, but you've got two of them. So they're double stacked. So it's a 12S6P um, Samsung 40Q cells in the battery. Other things to mention, it's absolutely crazy. So let's flip it over. Let's have a look on this side. Okay. Right, so another thing you've got here, you've got a nice, really, this is plastic. Nice, it's meant to be carbon fiber based enclosure. But look at the size of these motors. Jesus Christ. They're absolutely gigantic. I think they're the same kind of specs as other high end boards. But look at the size of them. The space between the motors is like three mil, three millimeters. Okay, a couple more things to mention. The charging port cover has a really nice firm little plug. Now it's a two uh, pin plug, but I'm loving these little caps and I'm guessing this has a cap normally that connects it to the board so you don't lose that. But this twist cap is really, really nice. It means that's never gonna fall off. Wooden ply deck, nice and stiff. Uh, and then you've obviously got your motor cables leading to the board. So, this is the front and this is the back. Right, so let's turn this monster on. Let's see what it sounds like. It's really gentle to start with. Right, okay, so connected it to boards, turned on. Oh, you've got these 3D printed guards. That's a nice little touch. So a nice little 3D printed guards for the front of the uh, gear drop. Right, here we go, let's listen to it. Okay. That. Jeez, that's terrifying. Wait, one more time. That's mental. Turning that off. Jesus. So turn it on. The Vega turns on straight away. Nice clear screen. It's quite low on charge. So 46 miles. Got nine miles, nine kilometers in range. So this is going to need a charge before I head out on it. Yeah. So. Okay, so you've got the information at the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my big boy pants on and take this out for a ride when the weather's a bit nicer. It's a little bit great at the moment. So hopefully we get nice weather soon. We'll get out on this and then see how mental this thing really is. So I'm gonna stick on charge for a minute and then we'll get out for a ride. See you soon. So we finally got a nice sunny day in the UK. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take the board out for a ride. I've been out on a little bit, but the weather's been so rainy and stormy for the last couple of months. It's finally got a chance to get the bio board out in some summer. So we're gonna take it in the urban, we're taking the roads, the coast, a little bit of off-road, a little bit of everything, and just basically see how this uh, amazing board uh, performs. So let's check it out now. The door is open, a good walk right
so that concludes our first real test ride. As you can see on the video, we've done a bit of off-road, uh, we've done some urban, we've done some coastal riding, we've been the road, we've been on steep hills, and basically done a bit of an all-round ride for the board. And to be honest, I'm extremely impressed with this ability to really ride everywhere. When I first got this board, I thought it was literally just a speed machine, just going in a straight line as fast as you can. And for me, it's kind of evolved. I went over to a couple group rides, which I'll be doing in later videos with the bio board, and I took on mild off-road, and this thing just lit up. All-wheel drive off-road is absolutely incredible. Have those four wheels, keeping all that grip, and pushing down that power, you can literally ride anything on this board. So I was glad to kind of take it on the street, you know, on the road, and keep up with traffic, and then when I took it over in the forest, it really had its own little life. A couple of little things I just want to mention, I haven't mentioned earlier in the video, Having the ability to reverse on the board was a nice little touch. The Devega at the front of this board is really, really good because you can see your speed and that range and also the power consumption you've used on the board. So that's really good for information. So I seem to find myself glancing forward, looking down quickly, looking back up, and I can see all the information I need when I need it without taking my eyes off the road and where I'm going. So that's really, really impressive. A couple of things to make note of, the full drive for acceleration is amazing, but turning is difficult. So if you're someone who likes to carve and have kind of the back end of your board kicking out, this isn't the one you want. But if you're looking for that speed machine that can climb any hill, destroy off-road, this is the kind of board you would want to be looking for. So one thing I want to make note of is the batteries are obviously a 12S6P battery. Now that's really, really good for kind of like pushing that board of that 12S series really, really quickly. However, I think the battery is kind of in the middle ground for where you want to be with this kind of board. Um, if you want to see a range test video, drop a like below. If we hit, I don't know, 100 likes, then I'll do a range test video of this board. Um, but I just think the range test would be really, really good to kind of see what kind of uh, performance we're getting out of this battery. But 12S 6P is good. Um, however, with that smaller battery, um, you can charge up really, really quickly. So the charging time is like an hour and a half, two hours. So you can get this board right up there really, really quickly. Um, the Hoyt Puck is really, really good in the hands. Um, as always, really good con connectivity when I'm riding along. I think the deck with this really wide front uh, stance is really, really good because you can lock your feet around the front, but your rear foot seems to stay where it is. So the front foot seems to step forward and back, so that really tight turning. And the deck is really, really stiff. I really hope, I don't know if they do this, they, I really hope they had a flexible deck as well for me. I, did, I was getting some uh, foot cramping when I was going off-road at speed, but I think that's because obviously I'm pushing it really, really hard. But in conclusion, I think this board is really, really impressive for what it is. And it's really nice to see not too many of them. And I think it makes it a very nice special board. So if you was to get your own one, you know you're not going to bump into them very much. And you're going to have that kind of acceleration and that speed that you want when you want it. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I want to say bio boards, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to review board. I'm going to be kind of making a couple more videos. So if you like this, drop a comment below what kind of things else you want to see from the board while I've got it. And yeah, I just want to say, really, really good job from BioBoards. And I think there's definitely a place in the market for a board like this kind of speed and this all-terrain um, aesthetic. So you can literally ride it anywhere and have that kind of power and speed when you want it. So I say thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more content. It comes out on a weekly basis. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.